Asteroid 1998 OR2 is now here and how we will see this 1.2 mile space rock swing by Earth tonight. It's going to be a safe distance. It's going to be about 4 million miles away from us, further from our moon. Asteroid measuring 1.2 miles across. It will be visible to small telescopes tonight. As astronomers confirm, this rock will swing by on a close approach, quote-unquote, close in astronomical terms, 3.9 million miles away from us, or 6.29 million kilometers. That's the closest it will be coming to Earth. It's about 16 times farther than our moon is. Asteroid OR2 is one of the many so-called near-Earth objects, or NEOs. They orbit the Sun within a 1.3 astronomical unit AU, or 194.4 million kilometers, or 120.8 million miles. We know dozens of asteroids make close approaches each month, and NASA tracks their orbits to see how close it will be coming to our Earth. If their orbits come within 5 million miles of Earth, they're called near-Earth objects. But due to the sheer size of asteroid OR2, 1.2 miles across, it'll be bright as seen through a small, a small telescopes. NASA's Asteroid Watch team tweets, Have you been hearing about asteroid 1998 OR2's close approach April 29? Rest assured, this asteroid will safely pass Earth by 3.9 million miles. Have other questions about asteroids or planetary defense? Ask them at NASA. So, even though the space rock will be close to Earth Wednesday, April 29, you should be ready to, uh, you should already be able to spot this tonight. Weather permitting, Dr. Gianluca Massi of the Virtual Telescope Project told Express UK that OR2 will be visible to small telescopes. Dr. Massey will also track the asteroid live online tonight. And she'll be streaming it, and there's a on virtual telescope. With a bit of luck and dark enough skies, you might even be able to see this through a pair of strong binoculars. Dr. Massey said these days around the close approach, 1998 or 2, can be seen through a modest telescope with a diameter of 120 millimeters to 150 millimeters. Under dark skies, even a binocular could help. Of course, you need to know where to look, and the JPL and Minor Planet Center's website can be useful for that. When viewed from Earth, asteroid OR2 will appear to pass above the constellation Hydra and below Leo. The asteroid will move relatively slowly, passing in front of the stars. You might even make mistake the asteroid for a slow-moving star tonight. Astronomer Eddie Irizarry said, you will want to note the star field and watch for the object that moves over a period of about 10 to 15 minutes. Yes, that'll be the space rock. Despite the asteroid appearing to slog through space, NASA estimates it's traveling at speeds of about 19,461 miles per hour. Paul Chodos of CNEO's director said, this is an asteroid that we've been tracking for over 20 years and we've been predicting its close approach for a long time. It's one of the larger near-Earth asteroids, and so it's kind of notable. It's around two to three kilometers in diameter, maybe one and a half to two miles across. So that makes it pretty significant, but it's passing pretty far away. So no problems, it won't be close enough to us to have any type of a, an effect on us. This on Express UK by Sebastian Ketley. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube 
channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.